most of my, my joy really comes from just having a collection, basically going to car shows, talking to different people, and I can really respect and understand people's passions for their cars and what they put into them. I like a, a car environment or enthusiast environment that's more open to different makes of cars. I, I probably, I find the, the marquee car clubs more, they concentrate more on what's wrong with the car than what's right with the car, where a general sort of car club really concentrates on appreciating what people's takes are in those cars and enjoying those cars. Hey, I'm Greg Gudgeon and this is my 1981 911 SC backdated to a 1974 IROC. So I've been an avid car collector for a number of years and really been into Porsches my whole life. You know, I was had the privilege of one of my first early classic cars was a 911, a 1972 911 Targa that was basically updated in those days with now they're backdating, but those days they were updating them. So it was updated to a 930 Turbo, 985. So I've always had an affinity with Porsches, but it's, there's no real rhyme and reason with my car collection. You know, I just really like to collect what I think is cool. So at the moment I've probably got about 10 classic cars that, uh, that are all different. My wife's tending to call me a bit like Noah because I tend to have collect two of each car at the moment. So a couple of Porsches, a couple of Corvettes, a couple of Mustangs, you know, a couple of Ferraris. But, but this is my, my latest edition, latest pride and joy. commissioned down in Melbourne by a group that basically I was looking for a, a 911 so that I could backdate myself so to build I actually wanted to build a 73 long bonnet RSR uh, but they actually had this one in stock it's originally a Hong Kong car delivered into Australia so it's been running around in Australia for some time and uh, they were going through the restoration project when I picked it up so it was actually easier for me just to, to go ahead and get them to customise it to my taste rather than me to, to build it by myself. It's really there to replicate the, the IROC series of cars in 74. So IROC is the International Race of Champions. And uh, in 1974, Roger Penske basically commissioned Porsche to build 15 cars. All of them were sort of bright, unique colors. The green is being my favorite color, but they were, you know, the, the green, orange, red, yellow. 
and so basically they were a three litre where this is actually a, a now a, a fully rebuilt uh, 3.2 with a 915 gearbox so it's you know it, it's goes with my collection the other car that's the other Porsche that I've got in my collection is a 912 so 1967 912 that's again is not totally original but it's it's been customized as a not as a rat rod or a hot rod but basically sympathetically customized uh, but they're just slightly different Like most young Australians, I was, I was keen on cars, watching Bathurst, and uh, always playing with my matchbox cars. As I got a bit older, I was lucky enough to, to retire from my business early, and then I was able to start collecting you know, cars. I, and I, I like the, the theme of a, a race car style, hence the, the reason for getting an IROC, or a replica IROC. Uh, it's you know I've done a bit of car racing myself, but not not anything serious. You know probably the most enjoyable car racing that we do, which is similar to door to door, is we've raced in the Lemons 24 hour series, which is you basically get a budget of a thousand bucks for a group of friends and you race for 24 hours around the uh, racetrack, which is pretty good. I've done a a bunch of driver trainings, so probably one of the most memorable driver trainings I've done, which was with Porsche at the Camp 4S in Finland, so basically driving 911 turbos around the ice and the ice fields there in, in Finland. That was a unique experience that we did in 2017. You know, something that I'd probably look forward to, to go back and do again if I can. Uh, and then a bunch of other driver training with Porsche at Mount Cotton was always, that was a unique experience driving up there, so I've done that a few times as well. Most of my, my joy really comes from just having a collection, basically going to car shows, talking to different people, and I can really respect and understand people's passions for their cars and what they put into them. I like a, a car environment or enthusiast environment that's more open to different makes of cars. I, I probably, I find the, the marquee car clubs, uh, more they concentrate more on what's wrong with the car than what's right with the car, where a general sort of car club really concentrates on appreciating what people's takes are in those cars and enjoying those cars. And hence the reason why I, everyone comes up and asks me if you know, my cars is this an original, you know, IROC, and you go, well, for $2.3 million it probably could be, but it's not, you know, but I, you know, so you get the same sort of feel of that car, the look of that car, but obviously you don't have to carry that same price tag. And the benefit is you get to drive it. And I think that's really what I like with all of my cars is that, you know, the ability that I can just take them out on the street, drive them around, take them to a car show, bring them home and put them, put them away. And that's really what my passion is about, is about using all of my cars. And I just like cars that are, are different. You know, they're, they don't have to be all the same. And I said I can appreciate everyone else's car. I may not want that car for myself, but I can appreciate their passion for it. And I think that's quite infectious.